Let's talk about Squarespace payments. We'll talk about what it is, why it's a great solution. I'll show you how to set it up on your website and then I'll give you a few like fine print insights. The reason I'm making this video is because at least as of this recording, in the US, the UK and in Canada, Squarespace is now pushing Squarespace payments over letting you um, connect to Stripe like maybe you've done before or you've seen in my other videos. What is it? Squarespace payments. If you want to collect money from people, let them put in their credit card on your website so they can pay you for a product or a service or a digital product. This is what you need. You need Squarespace payments. So it's just an easy way to um, do transactions on your website. Uh, why it's a great solution. First of all, it's easy to set up. And second of all, I think what will be really great about this. So before, if you had like Stripe or PayPal connected, your transactions would come in on your website and you could see those there. And then the payouts to your bank, you would have to log into Stripe or PayPal to see that information. So now with Squarespace payments, you see transactions and payouts all in one dashboard in one place on the back end of your website, which I think is great. Another thing that is great about Squarespace payments is that it is PCI compliant. The payment data is encrypted. It's a secure way for people to check out on your website. You know, all the things that we know we need, but at least for me personally, I'm like, you do those things, great, okay, check the box, um, great. So it is safe and it is a secure way for people to check out on your website. Um, speaking of check out on your website, it will actually allow people to check out on your website. So for example, with PayPal, if someone chooses to use PayPal, it's gonna take them away from your website. The person's gonna have to log into PayPal and then finish the transaction there. With Squarespace payments, people have no idea that you're using Squarespace payments. They're just entering their credit card information into your website and they're just gonna check out right there on your website. It gives a great user experience. Um, Squarespace payments accepts major credit cards, um, all of the usual suspects. It also includes Apple Pay and Afterpay. Um, what else do we like about uh, Squarespace payments? We like that Squarespace has 24 seven support that is available to you for Squarespace payments. Um, and you can do this on any plan, but if you wanna sell like physical products or digital products, you will need a business plan or a commerce plan. Okay, that was kind of a quick rundown of what Squarespace payments is and why it's a good solution for your website. Okay, now I'm gonna take you over here and show you how you can set it up on your website. So, you know, when you log in and you have the sidebar over here on the left, you click into selling and you can see right here, the second option is payments. Click into that and you will see, um, you can turn on Squarespace payments right here. So if I click that, it will prompt you to select where you are, continue. And I won't go through this whole thing because it does ask for a lot of personal information but make sure you select, select your type of business here. This is um, the roadblock that I hit with my client. They just continued on with individual and then she put in her social security number when really what she needed to do was select a company so that then she could put in her EIN. So this does, since you're making money, <laughs> you do have to report this for taxes. So however you want to report your income on taxes is how you will need to proceed and fill out this form. So fill this out. You can select sole proprietorship or from whatever this list here, continue. And you can see over here, save and close for later. You can, if you need to jump, you can come back to it later, or you can see over here in very small print, kind of on the bottom left, if you need to start over, you can just restart all the way back from beginning and clear your information here. So then you tell us about your business, give all your info here. So this I feel like I'm talking too fast. This is a two-step process. You're going to give all your information. And then once somebody buys a product on your website, that is when you go in and you give Squarespace uh, your bank account info so that they can then send you the money. So it's a two-step process. Give them your info. Somebody then buys a product from you. And then the next step you do is to give them your bank info. Once you do that, you won't have to do that again. But they don't ask for that until they actually have money to send to your bank account. So I'm going to save and close that for later. 
If you scroll down, you can still see there's options to do PayPal and Square here. Um, I did try to do this connect in an existing Stripe account and for whatever reason that just that didn't it didn't work for us. So I would say if you see this set up here in the back end of your Squarespace, go with Squarespace payments. And if you'd like to also connect PayPal as an option, you can do that. Um, Square is if you have um, if you're taking money in person, you actually use the Square, you know, the little Square readers or maybe the, the chip insert. Um, that's only for in-person um, payments there. A quick side note here. So you'll see under selling, this is what it looks like on my free trial account. So I haven't launched this website. Nothing is, is active on this website. This is what it looks like over here under the selling tab. But if you already have a Squarespace website and you want to activate uh, Squarespace payments instead of well, maybe you already have Stripe or PayPal, I want to show you that it looks different um, on these the active sites versus the trial sites. So over here on my designing the row account, I already have Stripe and PayPal connected. When I click on selling, there's not a payments option. So what you have to do on an already active site is come down here to finance and then payments. And now you can see this is where you can turn on Squarespace payments. Another way to get to it, I need to move my face, <laughs> is to come to this little settings gear in the bottom right of the sidebar and then click on selling from here and then click on payments from here and you will see the option to accept credit cards with Squarespace payments. So uh, depending on what your site, like how long you've had your site or if you're making a brand new one, it might look a little different in the setup, but hopefully uh, this helps you navigate and find where to activate Squarespace payments. Let's get over to the fine print insights. So there are still processing fees, just like you've had with Stripe and PayPal, you will still have processing fees. So that depends on um, what package you are on with Squarespace. So, you know, there's like personal and business and commerce and multiple levels of commerce. Make sure you go check out which plan you are on, what the processing fee is for that plan. The next thing I want to let you know about is that Afterpay is turned on by default. So that means people can pay you in, um, in payments rather than pay in full. So if you do not want people to pay you in payments for your products, make sure you go in and turn that off. Um, something I have on my list that I've already told you about, but I'll say it again, you will need your social security number or your EIN in order to set up Squarespace payments on your site. So just make sure you know that you have that ready when you go to do that. Um, and I, I did mention already that Squarespace payments will replace Stripe. So if you don't already have Stripe set up on your, um, website, just start with Squarespace payments. But if you do have Stripe and you go ahead and connect Squarespace payments, that will replace Stripe. OK, so just know that before you go into it, once you connect Squarespace payments, Stripe um, will no longer not that it won't work, but it will no longer be used as the payment processor on your website. Um, so it will process any uh, transactions that are already in process. But once those are complete, your website will switch over to Squarespace payments as the processor. Um, and last but not least, I already said a little bit of this as well. Um, Squarespace payments is not meant for the point of sale. You still need to use Square for that. And it will also not work with Acuity. So if you're using the Squarespace scheduler, which is Acuity, um, and you are taking payments for whatever people are scheduling with you, um, Squarespace payments does not work with that, at least at this time. Okay, I think that's that's all I know about Squarespace payments, um, what it is, why it's a great solution, plus a little um, behind the scenes of just some of the fine print details. And then hopefully you can figure out how to set it up just by going to um, selling and payments. And it is right here ready for you to go. Um, and you can see there it, it's telling me I did not finish setting it up. So. Once you do, it'll give you some little green check marks and you know you are good to go and you can start accepting payments through Squarespace payments. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I think that's it for me today. So I hope you have a great day. Happy selling whatever you're selling on your websites and I will see you in the next video.